Hello everyone, welcome to Drawing Stack. This is Vishnu and you are watching part 2 of how to draw an old barn or farmhouse. So far we have completed the barn except the garage. In this video we will complete the garage and put some more elements around the barn to add liveliness to the drawing. So let's pick up where we left. We will set the bottom part of the garage with a 6B pencil. Make it dark as very less light is reaching inside the garage. Then make some light shading on the upper portion of the garage. We will make some vertical wooden strips there. I'll put a little shadow under the roofing. Now put some vertical lines to reveal wooden strips and some dark shading to add depth on the wooden strips. Then apply some more shading at the lower part of the garage to make upper part prominent. Erase a small part of dark area to make a small window. Then use a 4B pencil to make the window. It doesn't have to be perfect as we are looking from distance. Now I'll make some grass in front of the garage. The barn is old. So the entrance of the garage is almost covered with long grass. To make grass, I am using 2B, 4B and 6B pencil to make different tones and depths. Make sure that 2B and 4B pencil is sharp to get a better grass like texture. I will fill the remaining ground with the initial light shed using 6B. Now, on top of initial setting, I will draw long grass all over the place. Again, I will use 2B, 4B and 6B to get the grass texture.
am keeping some part in front of the main door as a walkway, which is used as access to the barn. After grass in the front of the barn is done, we will draw some background trees. First, apply a light layer of shade. Then another layer of shades to add some tones on distant trees. Then highlight some branch structure. Use the same method for all the background trees. On top of branch structure, some more dark shade to achieve final texture. We are almost done, but let's finish with adding some old fence post in the front of barn. To do this, use a pencil top eraser, highlight some area for fence posts. Then set these fence posts to make them prominent. A little bit of final touch here and there. Let's give a border to our drawing. It will look good. Now here we are done with the drawing, please let me know if you like it, subscribe to learn more such drawing techniques, if you have not seen the first part yet please follow the link on the screen or in the below description. Thank you for watching drawing stack, see you again with another drawing.